Welcome back. In this video, we'll be laminating the second stringer with the help from a familiar friend. Brian Warzella from Stevens Point, Wisconsin is interested in building Temptrist. So I invited him over to take a look at the boat and to help out with the second stringer. Before Santa's arrival, I laminated the first five boards of the stringer laminate in the back thick section of the boat. As you can see with this second stringer, I followed the advice of Gerben Stoffels and I laid the stringer on its side for laminating. This greatly simplified the alignment of each of the boards in the laminate. And this time I remembered to mark and clean up the edge of the laminate. The first five layers still needed to be planed to thickness. So when Santa arrived, I put him straight to work, planing the laminate and cutting the remaining 33 boards. And then scarf the end of each board at a 45 degree angle to maximize epoxy surface. With two of us working together, we decided to laminate all 11 layers of the stringer at one time. And here is where I thank Mrs. Claus. Thanks to her Christmas cookies, we had no problem vertically aligning the boards as we clamped them together. Throughout this process, notice the extra steps needed to make sure we align the boards and get each of the scarf joints to connect properly. Here you see Brian pushing in each of the boards to ensure we have a tight fit at each scarf joint. I think the one change that I would make is I would start clamping on the curved side of the stringer and work my way over to the flat part of the stringer in the back. When you curve the boards, they seem to pull the scarf joints apart. So I think by starting with the curved side, you can end up with tighter scarf joints all the way through the laminate.
While the epoxy cured overnight, it was time to enjoy a campfire from the scraps of Peely lumber. The next morning, Brian used the electric planer to remove the excess epoxy and plane each stringer down to about 1.75 inches thick. For clarity, I know Brian's not the real Santa. I think he's just an elf who makes wooden toys all year. Each stringer is sandwiched with two one half inch thick Sapili boards. Because my lumber came in eight foot lengths, we had to butt multiple boards together. Ultimately, these outer boards will be attached to the stringer with both silicon bronze screws and thickened epoxy. After cleaning up the sandwich boards with a router, all that's left to do is mark the location of each frame on the stringers. I am now done with the frame construction board and the transom jig. So we disassemble the frame construction board. and we load him into Brian's camper for the trip back to Wisconsin.
So, you saw it, what do you think? Amazing. It's uh, more than I expected. Um, like, I, like I said earlier, you tell me it's 21 foot long stringer, and until you see it, you, you can't picture that in your mind. It's, it's gonna be a huge boat. Uh, it's gonna be a fun undertaking. And I can't wait to, to have our two boats together in about uh, six to eight years. <laughs> that sounds great, Brian. Thank you so Thank much you for the so time, I appreciate man. it. Okay. Excellent. Safe travels home. Yeah. As we take one last look at the stringers, I still can't help but wonder if Brian thought we were building a sleigh. Regardless, I had a lot of fun and we got a lot accomplished. So thank you, Santa. <laughs>